ऑफिस एक्सेप्ट एज प्रोवाइड बाय दिस आर्टिकल आर्टिकल क्या प्रोवाइड करता है प्रेसिडेंट कैन रिमूव ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ए रिपोर्ट द रिपोर्ट हैज टू बी बेस्ड ऑन इंक्वायरी सो देयरफॉर अंडर क्लॉज 7 नहीं देखिए ये तो ये तो एडमिटेड फैक्ट हो गया है दैट नो वन ascertained whether the allegation was factually correct or not that much is established from what i've been able to understand unless somebody says no it's not been established i, I don't think even khwaja sahab puchte the khwaja sahab kahan gaye unka koi issue nahi was the one way or the uh, other whether the allegation was true or not has it, it never, was it been ascertained or not it was never inquired into it was never ascertained and if that part of the order would they, how anything, do we go forward then on this we are very respectfully sir because you know both can't be telling the truth no quite right may yes. i very humbly submit my lord the order itself may have two components although they are mixed up as far as i am concerned they are mixed up in the sense one is with respect to the public speech that was made hmm? whether the public speech that was ye maine kaha that's a separate aspect this is what i'm saying that what may I'm, in itself be such a grave crime that you remove him no i'm making a or or the implied in the uh, order is the fact that you level such serious allegations against some people which cannot be sustained because no inquiry was held that post what is the solution here may i very respect this is mm. what i was saying that may i very respect you smith the order itself is composed of these two components one is that a public speech was made the other is that there was an allegation made or there were some assertions made which were not inquired into and that was also held against the petitioner now that portion cannot be held against the petitioner so far as the stc order is concerned because that was never inquired into we are only then left as far as this list is concerned only left with the question whether the public speech that was made was नहीं 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 देखिए उसका बड़े इम्प्लीकेशन होगा आई थिंक वी लेट्स लिव इन द रियल वर्ल्ड द इंटायर आईज ऑफ द नेशन आर बिफोर आस देर आर टू थ्री कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल ऑफिस इन्वॉल्व वन इज द एट स्टेक इज द इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ द जुडिशरी if i'm sure you will also agree that no judge should be removed without cause lord and I'm, i'm sure you say will say that yes right right and that's you that's one aspect the other aspect is as another constitutional body involved called the supreme judicial council now we ordinarily the supreme court should not interfere in the work of another constitutional body unless there is something so manifestly unconstitutional or unjust what mr hamid khan sahab is saying is there was no inquiry held and you are conceding it and the attorney general is also conceding it needless to say if the statement made was false he also concede concedes that the judge should have been removed now the third issue is the supreme court itself we are hearing this case now the question arises what sort of order we can pass in such circumstances uh, and the, i think there's an interconnected where is the attorney general uh, attorney general where is he alert oh. office check karwa le hum office mein बुला ले अगर उनको हाँ खान साहब जरा ये ओपिनियन तो पढ़िए पेज सेवेंटी पे ओपिनियन ऑफ द सुप्रीम जुडिशियल काउंसिल यस पेज सेवेंटी पे सेवेंटी पे यस इंक्लूजन सर दिस काउंसिल इज यूनैनिमसली ऑफ द ओपिनियन काइंडली सी यर दैट इन द मैटर ऑफ मेकिंग हिज स्पीच before the district bar association raul pindi on 21 7 mr justice shaukat aziz siddiqui judge islamabad high court islamabad had displayed conduct unbecoming of a judge of a high court and was thus guilty of misconduct and he is therefore liable to be removed from the office under article 2096 of the constitution of the islamic republic of pakistan 2096 which says you inquire into the matter which was never done the other uh, portion of this uh, you lot should may find very relevant is on page 4950 where they decided to dispense with the inquiry this was and this was this wall is me ye paida hota hai ye sawal hai ki suppose allegation durust hai suppose 
کیا یہ جس طریقے سے الیگیشن بیان کی گئی ہیں جس طریقے سے تقریر کیا یہ ایک جج کے لیے مناسب تھا یہ تو اپینین ان کی یہ تھی کہ چونکہ یہ کر نہیں سکتے تھے سر اس میں ہوا یہ there was only one hearing in camera done nothing else was ever done یہ تو ڈینائل نہیں آپ کے طرف سے کہ تقریر ہوئی تھی جی تقریر ہوئی تھی یہ ڈینائل تو نہیں ہے نہیں نہیں تقریر کا I mean, <laughs> these are not that's, two... Uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> that speech was the, the, before a bar is... No, no, so, so it's not a question of mere making of a speech. It's the yes. content of the speech. I, I think both go together. Now, it depends what I say. If I say there should be... I go and tomorrow I make speeches, independent of the judiciary, this, that, the other, fine. I may even canvass a view which is different. But if I make allegation against someone, so I think the... Subs, it, it, You can't disconnect the two things. It's the nature of the allegation. Because I would say on the, if otherwise then you, we will have to read that article 19 is not available to judges. Yeah, that's what they, I mean, they, okay, they, you may not agree with the judge's point of view, fine. I mean, uh, but you will move him on that ground. Uh, I, the, the, the code of conduct doesn't say you can't make a speech. Mm -hmm. So on it, I don't think there's anything wrong per se in making a speech. Now, if you make some speech and you attack, uh, launch a vicious attack or loaded attack or whatever you want to call whatever it, that we cannot disconnect with it. We have to read it, see it together. I mean, I can't just say, oh, making a speech. I mean, making a speech is your right. You're right. <laughs> Anybody's right. And addressing I mean, it's it not exactly. Huh? District Bar Association. By the way, you may, may be interested to know public, uh, the, the United Kingdom, which is so conservative, judges give interviews. I mean, so House of Lords. I mean, you know, the, those... The restraints have gone far gone and judges of the American Supreme Court, as judges of the Supreme Court, Justice Stephen Breyer and Justice Scalia's debates all make public debates were pretty vicious <laughs> on various law schools they were given. So let's connect it with the speech. Now, nobody is taking us to the next level. What do we do? Yes, sir. And this, can we personally ourselves inquire into the matter? Sir, one thing which I just want to point out, there were a number of speeches made by Justice Kiani which was published. No, I speech. agree with you on that. Very clearly. You know, I agree with you. It will be, I think it is connected with the content. Okay. If you have put a lot of people to another uh, I don't want to use the word institution, Other, but it's important, yes. uh, whatever uh, department of the government you want to say, so naturally it is not a nice matter, but if they are true, it changes, I think, the complexion of the matter. Sir, if you look at page 70, this is the solution. No, sir, the solution is that this order is based upon the report of the Supreme Judicial Council in the need to be questioned. No, 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 through Khwaja Saab's clients under the bus and save one of their own. Again, we have to be very fair to both sides because you made allegation targeting specific persons. So if we quash it, that means, effectively means that all that you said was true without an inquiry, one way or the other. Now, if, how can we, I mean, uh, you know, what do we do then? So then the answer can be, I'm just making a humble submission, that let this order of the President be quashed, let the report be also quashed, and let the matter be remanded back to the Supreme Judicial Council to hold an inquiry. Can, we, can this order be passed? I think, I believe so. 
हमें असिस्ट करें लेकिन अगर असुरी जुडिशियल काउंसिल बगैर इंक्वायरी के रिकमेंड कर देती है रिमूवल ऑफ ओके आई यू सिंग इट्स इनहेरेंट इन फंडामेंटल राइट एंड ड्यू प्रोसेस पार ऑफ रिमांड कैन यू रिमांड मैटर टू दुप्रीम जुडिशियल काउंसिल and that can be consequential on the on the requestment of the order it can be khwaja uh, sahab aap kya kehte hain is point pe nahi let's see khwaja sahab is a senior counsel let's see what his view is can we remand the matter to the supreme judicial council or we can't i don't may i very humbly make a submission it cannot be done because now there is nothing for the supreme judicial council Michael. to inquire into because Uh, the petitioner's tenure has already expired. He is no longer goes back. He would no longer be a judge to be considered for purposes of removal, which is the function of the Supreme Judicial Council. So it does not fall within the functions of the Supreme Judicial Council at this stage. This is what my very humble submission. But so what is the solution? None. This matter requires the determination or no? No. Suppose let's suppose we we. For sake of argument, don't take it uh, amiss that we set aside the order. Lord, that means that that's implied in the order that all that he said, the judge when he was a judge, was true. Okay. So you are condemned. It won't you be condemned? It doesn't imply that. But why? May, may, may Can you say everything I said was true? Therefore, the order what, was set aside. Yes. What he said, my lord. so far as the allegations against specific persons are concerned they came up for the first time before the supreme judicial council you know he's been saying it from day one no 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 he hasn't he hasn't the specific allegations against persons by naming them and naming the incidents also they never figured in the speech they never figured in the preliminary reply that was given to the supreme judicial council is brought in the second reply that the digital reply that no, but one way the other why didn't the supreme judicial council say something on it he But they could have asked him say it on oath yes what did the supreme i don't know i called you to cross examine him I, i don't know whatever way i make a submission what the supreme judicial council did was they asked for the then chief justice of islamabad high court for his reply on the allegations that were made by the petitioner vis-a-vis -vis him and he denied all those allegations but it's one denial i'm just speaking one assertion yeah no, but more importantly may i make a submission i said that before also and i'm trying to be as balanced See, you I'm can't not, just say i'm not because taking side chief justice i believe him and because he is a simple judge i disbelieve yes. him that's no now we come back to the speech itself the sole ground on which this the, the matter against the petitioner could have been sustained this order can be sustained is if this honorable court comes to the conclusion that that speech per se was sufficient for his removal because it came within the definition of misconduct so i use this thing that judge cannot give a speech to a bar no, counsel no no what i'm making a submission may i make yes. a submission irrespective of whether it was true or not what the petitioner said irrespective of that because it maligned the judiciary as a whole how does it malign the judiciary let's go through the speech itself if your lordship would no no and he, it maligned he, the army institute the army forces he is maligning you no 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 mm. not in the speech in the speech it is the army forces it is the judiciary they are the judges of the islamabad high court suppose the allegations Now, are suppose the allegations are true then then what will even then, who, who, who even, then even then the petitioner should not have gone public or made a speech before the bar why you, he could have issued a contempt no if you somebody know why you saying he should not unless you can specify some violation of some law constitutional provision Think or a, a, a constitute of the uh, code of conduct of uh, judges you can't just say he should not have you should because refer to something I think because court, of the, this reason the code of conduct says something to no, no, which refer to that provision God. which uh, says that uh, judge cannot give a speech to no, the bar so, council no, no, no. or whatever question of giving a speech it is a question of giving a speech which maligns the judiciary exactly it's the contents of the speech which maligns the, uh, the 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 uh, any institution in the country that is okay now the, let now let us the only thing has to be held let me ek second khan sir ek second please refer to the code of conduct code of conduct mujhe nikalne which provision are you relying upon But may I very humbly submit, my lord? I am not taking sides in this case. No, no, I know because your lordship has called. Oh no, me. actually, yes. they say it's always beneficial to have no, senior no. counsel like yourself. I, I'm just because uh, uh, we are just thinking aloud how to proceed. Yes.
and we'll be next be calling upon the attorney general as well so which which possible misconduct provision can you bring him under there is a one, one provision in the code of conduct thumbs up which relates to public one public speech scheme. article 2 up maybe you can read article 2 i i i'll read that and then um uh, I read Article Two for your Lordship, my Lord, but I think there's another provision which talks about I think it is number five. Uh, yes, it's Article Five. May I very humbly submit? If you can, if it is to be stressed, it will fall under Article Five. Nothing beyond. I will come back to that also. It's functioning as it does in full view of the public. A judge gets thereby all the publicity that is good for him. He should not seek more. In particular. he should not engage in any public controversy least of all on a political question not be standing that involve that it involves a question of law it's not it's a question is a it's not publicity he was seeking he was again he was let's call him a whistle blower is a whistle every whistle blower you will say is seeking publicity what publicity he was seeking by this Yeah, hey, ye to aap, you are assuming he was his burden will be on the person seeking his removal to show that he was seeking publicity it's premised on that may as may he, a uh, judge gets all the publicity that's good for him. he should not seek more so and then then, uh, then it will be that you are seeking publicity in other words you can't address bar councils yes there will be the media there so what so may not engage in any public controversy no it says please go on in a political it's not the public it says political question where is politics here there's no politics here it space in particular he should not engage in any public controversy so if if least of all on political no, matters if suppose let's suppose let's take the worst case scenario if the institution he is in there is corruption he should keep quiet so there is so a, what should he do he, he should be writing to the chief justice so okay he says failed he be writing to the failed uh, failed and if there is somebody then what should he do he should he, keep quiet about if it if there is someone approaching him he, he has the power he can issue contempt notice to that person to if See, anybody dares to approach him to no influence him in any of his decisions there is corruption be, for instance not this case we are giving a simple thing yes. I'm, about i'm saying and the law is some his colleague is taking a bribe a lot he writes to the chief justice informs the chief justice doesn't do anything a lot he gets frustrated a lot okay maybe the frustration level comes to a point that i'll go public now okay so fine you can that the person against who he is alleged and himself you can certainly hold him to task by saying prove this allegation and the other person who's alleged it will say you made a false allegation i'll show it which is exactly what's happened in this case but not may i may i so how, how this is which other article can you rely upon this is the only this is the only article i suppose but not uh, there is an article which was invoked in the order itself which what, one was that is kindly huh? read second para of article 2 uh, i'm going to read that right second para should i second para of article 2 in two. the matter of taking his seat and of rising from his seat he shall be punctilious in point of time mindful of the courtesies careful to preserve the dignity of the court while maintaining an equal aspect towards all litigants as well as as well as lawyers appearing before him he should be careful to preserve lord what job what i'm saying is that these are the provisions which can be no no tell me which one my lord i said article 5 and article 2 sub para 2 also comes within that yeah, because my lord yeah, father sir we are, uh, we, are, we are we have an advantage in having you before us all right i'm grateful for See, you so so, so we the advantage is you are now well versed with sjc <laughs> matters a lot theek hai okay the other sjc matters where you are proceeding again one is finishing a complaint right you don't have to inquire into great details of every frivolous kind of allegation you can just dispose it of consign it to the record or whatever it's called but where you proceeding against a judge why you proceed against judge with a view to remove him Lord. so you have to give him some i mean here you may be conflicted as a lawyer <laughs> i'm not saying conflicted in this case gotcha. because your contentions at other place may be different you'll say establish this thing fair enough 
the burden on whoever lies the burden will establish it or not establish it. It doesn't get established. Clean bill of health. Bill of health. देखिए देखिए आर्टिकल टू सब इसके सेकंड पारा में लिखा है टू प्रिजर्व द डिग्निटी ऑफ द कोर्ट जो एलिगेशन इन्होंने लगाई है वो तो डिग्निटी ऑफ कोर्ट के अगेंस्ट है तो इसको प्रिजर्व कैसे करें ये आपसे पूछे उन्होंने एक तकरीर में कर दी दूसरा तरीका आप बता दें कि कैसे कर सकते उसका तरीका मैंने बताया ना जो एलिगेशन लगा रहे हैं वॉट इज चले स्पीच and conduct in terms of that speech can be stretched it could at best fall within these articles and there is nothing beyond that article 5 or and this sub para 2 of article 2 and this is for the honorable court to decide whether that speech irrespective of whether it is it based on truth or otherwise comes up to that standard of falls within this mischief or not that is all as far as the inquiry part is concerned that did not take place so they would and those specific allegations are not there in the speech the order itself when we read page seven okay. we read the conclusion it is basically focused on the speech itself which is said to be the reason why the removal is being or uh, is recommended it's not the question of any other issues that were raised there because they were not inquired to uh, yes to the extent of the uh, honorable chief justice the uh, reply was sought and that reply came and whatever the honorable chief justice said was against what the petitioner was contending did the chief justice was he examined no he, he gave a letter did you so it's all a question if this is a matter which goes on to inquiry then yes But then, then then it will mean that there must be a standard why you are believing the chief justice and disbelieving Uh, a judge senior what i'm going to go, uh, saying is yeah. going back to the opposition is it, is it the status which uh, no no not at all uh. not at all it was just i am not even supporting that i am not supporting that because the honorable chief justice said something therefore believe him and not believe the other part i'm saying if this law if this honorable bench comes to the conclusion that in this matter irrespective of the contents of the inquiry itself uh, the uh, speech itself and that it was made publicly addressed to a bar association which was then if this is fine this is all right this does not amount to misconduct then the order that this honorable court has to pass the way move, to move forward is to exonerate him of the charges of making a speech which does not come within the ambit of misconduct it does not imply that whatever he said was true or that it necessarily needs sure, to be but if you quiet. read the order it is 39 pages of the order yes content is there if there was no content there i mean i would find it very strange that the mayor making of a speech i have submitted my lord that in the order itself there is a mixture of this of the presumption that what was being said by him in terms of allegations were not true without any inquiry i have already said that that is part of the order itself okay. what the conclusion would be then that this matter this particular list would come to an end with the petitioner being exonerated of the charges the order being set aside the the recommendation being quashed and he gets whatever he gets but beyond that if the honorable court wants to go into whatever they can they can file Oh, it has to go no, out no, of this no. list ho jaisa let's think yeah, this nation has suffered enough now it's not a question of granting relief to a particular person or withholding a relief from a particular individual as far as i'm concerned that that's least of my concerns my concerns are the integrity of the institutions if the allegation level is true i mean the nation wants to know the truth of the matter this person is telling the truth or that person is telling the truth you say no forget it leave it aside it's not a small matter of a, a small office holder post it's a institutional matter don't you let me ask you very candidly as a senior lawyer would you not want to know the truth of the matter that the petitioner is telling the truth or your client is telling the truth just as a you have invested your life you have invested your life in this profession well lord if yes course, what would would you not want to know the yeah, truth really, of the I'm, matter this is exactly what i'm saying i am with your lordship on that hmm. i'm so how 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 are you saying to it i what i'm saying is that not in this list not in the case before so how do we lordship. do it then your lordship takes so more to action or take some other action by lord any it cannot ek, be ek, 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 one inki ek tajweez aayi hai ke 
send it for review, uh, to back to remand it to the Supreme Judicial Council that you that uh, article 2097 was not complied with and 205 and 6 all use the word inquiry inquiry and 7 says you cannot remove it unless you follow the, the procedure so that was not done without this court determining it could the Supreme Judicial Council re-examine it and determine it once and for all whether I mean I think the nation needs to know whether the allegation is true or false leave aside your interest and his interest there is an interest of the nation you come from an institution which is paid out by the public exchequer the petitioner comes from an institution which is paid out of the public exchequer these institutions are not for your personal benefits they are there to serve the people so what what do we do with it? People will make fun of it. What what have you come up with the result? Who was telling the truth in this matter? Because the truth is diametrically opposed. He's saying one thing, you're saying the opposite. It's not a question of variation of the truth. Ah, uh, he misunderstood me, I meant this. Then we could have maybe reconciled both versions. What my learned friend has said, if he has proposed, if he is sticking to that, that the matter should, can go back to the Supreme Judicial so Council. Can it? Yeah, but I see, see a legal impediment that it's the Supreme Judicial Council is not cut out, is not constituted, it's not part of the Constitution for the purpose of making an inquiry which does not involve the recommendation made to the President for removal or otherwise of that, uh, of, of, a, of a judge. That that uh, that part of the uh, function has are already come then to an suggesting, end. Are you then suggesting a complaint is filed by against a judge, or in, as in this case by the registrar, Sumoto of Kenyan or whatever you want to call it, without in inquiring into the complaint, Supreme Judicial Council says he is removed as a, a recommends to the president remove him. That's it. End of story. Oh. The petition is here for the purpose of getting it quashed precisely for this reason. Nain, quash ki baat nahi aegi. I'm, I'm saying that is the one person. But this is not a matter of one person. It's a matter of the independence of the judiciary, which is with the people of Pakistan have invested into it. They are not interested in a judge serving or not serving. This matter has gone into the public domain now. It has to be, the public has to be satisfied one way or the other. Who was telling the truth? Well, truth doesn't matter anymore. I keep emphasizing on truth. If he's, the truth, I think, some look, I think all the maslas will go away. You know, just as it was open. Aren't you in, personally interested just to know? Oh, no, yes. I, may I make a submission? Being, up, as he was in burning within inside of, you. But not within the framework of law, within the framework of constitution, yes. We are all in, we all want to know the truth, absolutely. But we have to remain within the frame. I so which, do not see you know, which solution. provision pro, pro, I prohibits do. such an order. Agar, I'm just thinking aloud. Ye jo case hai aapke paas. Nain, ye aise general baat kar rahe hain. Agar ek aur kal ko case aaj hai, ek complaint hamare paas par nain, bahut saari padi hui hai, aati aati jayegi. Mujhe koji judge nahi pasand hai, chalo hata do isko. Saare hamare Supreme Judicial Council members agree kar lain, haan hata do. Koi hum inquiry kar rahe hain, kuch na kar rahe hain. Aapko bas khatam ho gai baat, ab kuch nahi kar sakte hain. Aapke paas ek petition aati hai. Agar dekhe, ek baat hai substituting your opinion for someone else. That's a different matter. The other is inquiring into the matter. Even a murderer has committed murder in front of everybody, you still have to go through the process. I mean, even someone commits murder right in front of 100, 200 people sitting in this room. We can't just say hang him. No, we'll have to frame a charge. We'll have to bring witnesses. <laughs> we'll have to give an opportunity for cross-examination. Total waste of time, you will say. Yes, that's what rule of law means. Total waste of time. Sometimes it amounts to that. I mean, I'm just trying to. Like each decision creates a precedent. So where is where should we go now from here? As they keep saying, my lord, the, the order gets quashed if dishonorable. Yeah, but what will it come to the conclusion? Then the nation will hold us accountable. <laughs> necessary, notwithstanding the notwithstanding the uh, allegations made. If you have finished, can we request yes, the yes, attorney, yes, ge yes, attorney please, general? Please. Huh? Yes. Okay. I made my submission. Have you understood 
Oh, because you came in late. Uh, from what because, I have... let, let's just quickly recap everything. The petitioner made allegations in a speech to a bar. One is, you shouldn't speak to the bar at all, end of story, go home. The other is that the speech was so, whatever, it was not pleasant for someone or the other, and nonetheless it was made. Now the content is either true or false. The it is admitted on all sides that the Supreme Judicial Council did not inquire into the matter. The word inquiry, uh, Khan Saab has said, is finds mentioned twice, five, That's again right. in 2096, That's and 2097 says you can't remove it unless this. Okay. To proceed further, you have to inquire into the matter, not to finish a complaint. If the complaint was consigned to the record, that's not the issue. But when you are proceeding against a judge, then Hans Abe has said, Kibhi, where is my due process? Where is my uh, right to, if everybody comes before me asking for right to fair trial. Now we come to the situation, where do we go from here? And the most important thing is that the allegation has been leveled against the institution which is more important as far as I am concerned. This is Khwaja Sahib has also said one more thing, something important. He said once he's been removed and he's attained the age of superannuation, the matter ends. Now, we were hearing some other case. Yes. The same issue came up there also. So, my Lord, uh, as far as uh, not following the, or not conducting the inquiry is concerned, that is uh, contrary to law and that to my mind would be malice in law and therefore Article 211's ouster would not apply as far as this petition Which ouster? Two, two, uh, two, uh, 211, sir. Article 211. What is it say? Bar of jurisdiction. Bar on jurisdiction, my Lord. The number of judgments is settled. So I, I, I think that's uh, that's quite settled. So if the inquiry hasn't been followed, the on the basis of it being the, there being malafide in law, Article 211 does not apply. Yeah, Therefore, this court would so have jurisdiction. Malafide in law. No, but malafide in law is basically if the process is not followed, if what the law or the mm. constitution requires is not followed, it is malafide in law. Not in fact, but in law. Mm. So because. If that is so, then this court has jurisdiction, so the court can proceed. The court can no, we, look into okay, the we, we are not a substitute for the Supreme Judicial Council. Of course you're not, but uh, the, the question... You can't say, okay, now please come and give oath and give it on statement no, 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 this and is, this is, I will cross-examine. No, no, this is jurisdictional question. Yes. This is jurisdictional question. You're not going to inquire into the matter while sitting as a court. The Supreme Judicial Council's, uh, it is Supreme Judicial Council's remit to look into the, that matter. But I am just only saying that uh, this court has jurisdiction to hear the petition if the inquiry has not been conducted, 209 and the procedure we, has we not been that bridge. So yes. So once that is done, where do we go from here? Gee, once that is done, now uh, one fact which has uh, which was uh, alluded to, and there is a judgment, a two-member bench's judgment in Afia Sherbanu Zia's case, PLD 2023 Supreme Court 510. Uh, wherein the two-member bench has held that if a judge has resigned or has retired, the proceedings, if while he was in on the bench, were, uh, had commenced before SJC, they would abate. Now, uh, the federal government, I had in another matter uh, stated before your lordship that the federal government intends to file an appeal against that judgment. Has it been filed? Yes, my lord. It has been filed. Uh, can number it? My lord, it has yet to be numbered. I hope it will be numbered today or tomorrow. Uh, now, there are certain several problems with that judgment and uh, of course... The, uh, the king, uh, if the principle of that judgment is sustained, then it effectively cuts both sides. Then a judge who's been unconstitutionally removed can do nothing. Now, so in this, if in the meantime, he right. resigned, he retired, for so, instance, so in this case, he attained the age of uh, superannuation. So in this case, the uh, distinction also is that. Uh, 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 
after the judge was uh, the petitioner was removed he had said those proceedings before this court and he had not attained the age of superannuation at that time so that that distinction being there but that judgment needs to be revisited also uh, by this bench or any other bench uh, in order for the court to then pass the order of setting aside the supreme judicial council's order in this case also yeah, as I, I, i'm not clear with you G are you saying that we should attach that case with this case i would i would submit so my lord acha okay and uh, now if the inquiry process has not been followed and uh, the allegation now we don't know what uh, the if, is remand permissible if my lord uh, if you are saying if afia is sustained then it probably may not be is that what i'm not understanding if afia is sustained then uh, perhaps in this case they may still have to the petitioner may, may still have an argument to make which is that uh, he had not attained the age of superannuation when he had challenged the supreme judicial council's order before this court so there would be that no, but distinction the, the, but the, 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 i think there is a fact is that the list the list in some form or the other was before this court that's right so that's what i was alluded alluding to that if, if there would suppose, still be a distinction as far if, as this if we if we accept this petition ji yeah. what will happen so we we'll simply some can happen two, two what things can happen if uh, uh, if my lords accept this petition and simply set aside the supreme judicial council's order without remanding it then uh, he would be treated as a judge who was who had retired we, we, from, are, we are also concerned about the allegations what what would happen to the allegations it so, the thing is suppose so if with you respect to the petitioner and his counsel suppose we set aside the order and he is laughing all that i said was false okay nation i i think i i am more concerned that in every case we decide we have to keep half a eye out ke bhai iska implication generally kya hoga you may want to do something but it has may may have wide uh, ranging uh, implications the other thing is doesn't the nation want to know one way or the other what is the position of the federal government on this uh well won't you want to as they say get to the truth of the matter i lord uh, so i i just got called on uh, short I, notice I, but i, I, I can know, i know that's I, not fair but what, but, anyway. but i can what i can state here is that uh, now there are certain allegations which are made in this petition and those allegations from what i've understood uh, while sitting here serious have been denied allegation. not some yeah. minor allegations some serious allegations those allegations have been denied and now obviously this court cannot uh, record evidence is not the forum for doing it uh, if Is there a solution? The yeah, solution, my lord, is that uh, in order to do to 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 look at the entire matter in totality, if Afia Zia is overturned and uh, this matter is uh, remanded to uh, the order of the Supreme Judicial Council is set aside and the matter is remanded to Supreme Judicial Council, then as far as the inquiry of these allegations is concerned, uh, that perhaps is the only forum. And then question uh, arises that the man has retired. What will happen? So for that purpose, you have to overturn Ar Afia Sherbanu Zia. For that purposes, for those purposes, you have to first the this court has to overturn Afia Sherbanu Zia in order to cross that barrier and then go to this the. This case, this case is slightly different. He was not retired at that time. That, that, that's right that's right that's right he was still before the court now the question would still be that if the petition is allowed what could be the consequence now if in agar ye petition agar ye petition limited consequence jaldi decide ho jati in ki retirement se pehle to masla hal ho chuka wo bhi ho chuka hota but agar for example ek ye ho sakta hai ki ji petition aap allow kar de and uh, He is treated as a retired judge and thus entitled to all the uh, benefits which a retired judge is entitled to. But if on a broader scale, on a broader scale, so on a broader scale, then I think uh, since he has retired and uh, now that is that is what that is what's troubling me. Let's suppose a complaint is filed against a judge one month before his retirement. and the supreme judicial council without con saying he is corrupt supreme judicial council without inquiring into the matter recommends to the president reports whatever remove him he is removed now naturally 
when he filed the petition, he's already stand retired. That's right. So I don't think the date would there be. He has got no way to vindicate his honor. Uh, there, there has to be a way. There has to be a basically, you are saying uh, one way is no, too bad. Whether the uh, Supreme Judicial Council inquired into the matter or not. I mean, you may, whether we agree with the findings of the Supreme Judicial that's a separate matter. One is at least inquire into the matter. Okay, I may have a higher level of proof, another may be lower, but leaving those technicalities aside, basic inquiry has to be conducted of some form or the other. Absolutely. I mean, whether it has to be it's in accordance with the Kanun Shahadat or... No, it's, it's the constitution requires so. I mean, a judge cannot be removed without uh, inquiry. Are judges that's quite entitled clear. to fundamental rights or not? <laughs> It is? Absolutely. I mean, it, it is it at the heart of independence of judiciary. Absolutely. Absolutely. At the heart of in independence of judiciary has so to be. So, solution kya hai so iska solution, sir, to my mind, Aap is. You are saying that you have to club it. You have to overturn it because uh, this would, that would then settle the law. Because in this case, obviously, there was a substantial period of time when uh, the petitioner was removed. I think it's going to connect. Ho jati hai. And it's going to connect. Nobody could have thought this would connect there. About, so, so, about so, three years. So, so, if he had three years to his service left. No, and, they can, uh, like they I said, not. suppose he had only one day left. Yes, yes. So in that hypothetical, I, I, mean, then I, I, I don't think that's really bilkul, uh, bilkul, bilkul. crucial so, aspect. So, so, so in that hypothetical, which my lord has just pointed out, I think it is necessary that uh, that point is settled. That uh, the, the point is settled that even if he stands retired and attains age of superannuation. Uh, the matter can still be revisited by because the Supreme that Judge. delay that delay we are accountable for that's in right. this particular case because it's proceeded so long I mean, that's i can't we can't fault the petitioner on that oh absolutely not uh, so kitni hearings ho gayi thi isme beshumar sir many hearings humne kitni dafa suna last hearing was mere ka aapka exam hum pe to nahi humne kitni dafa suna is case ko अक्टूबर दो हजार अठारह में ये पिटिशन फाइल दो हजार नहीं वो क्योंकि वो पार्टी नहीं बनाया था ना उसमें टाइम लगा वो 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 आपका कसूर था खान साहब थोड़ा हमारा कसूर था मगर वो आपका कसूर था मान लीजिए क्योंकि आपने एलिगेशन लगाई थी अगेंस्ट पार्ट पीपल हुआ नॉट बिफोर वी हैड टू गिव दम नोटिस सो वो दैट गोज इन योर वी डोंट एक्सेप्ट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर दैट क्वेश्चन दैट इवन शोज दैट दिस वॉज ए केस वसीम सजाद साहब कैन कैन वी बेनिफिट बाय योर एक्यूमेन have you be following what we we are talking about what is your view can it be remanded to the supreme judicial council or not but actually i haven't studied this matter i wouldn't like to make a comment without going through the uh, uh, studying it properly because it's an important question but i would say that the supreme court of pakistan is the highest court and there's nothing in the constitution which prevents it from remanding the case back to the judicial council But as I said, I would like to study the matter further. Once the matter is before your lordship, your lordship also has the power to do complete justice under Article 187. So there is no impediment. So, sir, what is your appeal? When did it come? My lord, uh, it's been filed earlier today. I think uh, it, it will hopefully be numbered today. Uh, and uh, once it is numbered, I think it can be fixed whenever the office. The point that you want to say at this juncture, anyone, any of the council or. Uh, This is one of the exceptional cases. Earlier cases, like Justice Shahkatli's case, there was a detailed inquiry held, and after that, the Supreme Judicial Council uh, submitted to the President to remove him. 
there have been even earlier cases, Ikhlaq Hussain's case, where inquiry was held. This is the first case of risk in nature, where no Supreme Judicial Council did not hold any inquiry into the allegations. So therefore, my submission is this goes right can against you, can you, the can you, can you, independence of... No, can you cite those cases, the earlier cases, the earlier where cases. inquiries were held? The, one is uh, Justice Shaktari's case is PLD uh, 1971 Supreme Court. 1971 Supreme Court. Page? page 585. 585. And here you are saying it, the Supreme Judicial Council did hold inquiry. Hold a very lengthy inquiry, some 80 witnesses and so on. So they recommended the judge's removal. Remove. As in the next case, is, the, this, this uh, is Justice Shaukat Ali. Earlier case was Justice uh, Iqlaq Hussain's case, PLD 1960 Supreme Court. Yeah, page there, 26 perhaps. जी Inquiry was held. Which was that provision of uh, 56 Constitution? Which article? Article uh, earlier article was 128. 128. 60, under the 60 one, article 128, Supreme Judicial Council, which did not mention specifically mention the word no, inquiry. It, it mentioned inquiry. Article 128 was in the same terms as Article 209. But I'm talking about 1956 Constitution. Under the 1956 Constitution. It was ये इसमें नहीं था अखलाक हुसैन वाले केस में स्टेट वर्सेस अखलाक हुसैन नहीं वो कौन सा आईन था जिसके आप जिक्र कर रहे हैं 56 का उसमें नहीं था उसमें ये नहीं था कि इंक्वायरी जरूरी है उस 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 आईन की कौन सी शिक थी उस आईन की शिक थी आर्टिकल 169 69 169 अच्छा 169 अच्छा इसमें नहीं था उसमें आई रीड दैट आउट no, uh, no inquiry a, required, huh? G. A judge of a high court shall not be removed from his office except by an order of the president made on the grounds of misbehavior or infirmity of mind or body. If the Supreme Court, in Uswa Supreme Judicial Council, nahi, Supreme Court, uh, ye function karte. if the Supreme Court on reference being made to it by the president reports that the judge ought to be removed on any of those grounds, ye article 169,000. इसके बावजूद भी डिटेल इंक्वायरी की गई थी उसमें और डिटेल इंक्वायरी ऑफ द अखलाक हुसैन का केस था तो 56 कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वाज अंडर कंसीडरेशन और द 60 कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अंडर द 1956 कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अच्छा मगर उसके बावजूद भी इंक्वायरी हुई तौरी हुई थी सो so, मेरी गुजारिश ये है कि दिस इज अ फर्स्ट केस ऑफ इट्स नेचर वेयर अ जज इज रिमूव्ड विदाउट इंक्वायरी it is, will have a repercussion for the future because judges of the civil court has no other security available to him except that a Supreme Judicial Council makes inquiry into the allegations. If that is taken away from him, then he is left on the mercy of, uh, uh, of the alle um, person who alleges against him whether he is president or whether he is any other person making a complaint. So therefore my submission is that a detailed judgment is required to give why inquiry is so necessary in cases where the allegations against the judge of the superior courts uh, for which there cannot be any recommendation for removal without the um, uh, without holding a proper inquiry into it and giving a statement of allegations. Even in the case of uh, Ikhlaq Hussain, there were three allegations, specific allegations there. Similarly, in case of uh, Sheikh Shaukat Ali in 1971, specific allegations were made against him to which, on which inquiry was held. In here, no statement of allegations were ever given to the uh, uh, petitioner and naturally... No it was case, right? That was Khan Sahib. Yes. It was case, right? That was reported or not? These two cases were... No, first day, Khan Sahib had no case in that case or not? No, it didn't. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. Khan Sahib, tell us one thing. Khan Sahib, tell us one thing. In this case, the allegations are different. 
شوکت علی صاحب والے میں اور اخلاق حسین صاحب والے میں یہاں پر جو انفارمیشن کی بات ہے سب سیکشن فائیو آف آرٹیکل ٹو زیرو نائن وہ انفارمیشن کی بیسز پہ لیکن یہاں تو سپریم کورٹ نے خود کاغنیزنس لیا ہے تو یہاں تو کاغنیزنس لیا ہے اس نے وہاں کو انفارمیشن کسی پبلک پرسن نے کسی نے کوئی انفارمیشن تو نہیں دی ہے تو انکوائری اس صورت میں کری جائے جب کوگنیزنس لیا ہے کوٹ نے خود ریجسٹرار نے لیٹر بھیجا ہے اس کی بیسز پہ تو یہ چیز جو ہے یہاں پہ ضروری ہے انکوائری بہت ضروری جب کوگنیزنس سپریم کوٹ خود لے رہے ہیں اور بھی زیادہ ضروری ہو گئی ہے جناب نے بلکل دوست فرمایا اور بھی زیادہ ضروری ہو گئی ہے ہوا یہ تھا کہ نا نائنٹین ففٹی سیس کانسٹویشن میں یہ کیسز میں کچھ ایک آج میرے خساب سے کچھ کرپشن کا بھی کیس ہے اس جی جی گزارش یہ ہے کہ اس میں ہسٹری اس کی یہ ہے کہ نا ففٹی سیس کانسٹویشن میں ویڈاوٹ پریزیڈنشل ریفرنس کسی جج کو ریموو کیا جا سکتا تھا نا سکسٹی ٹو کے کانسٹویشن میں یہ ہو سکتا تھا سیونٹی تھری کانسٹویشن میں بھی نہیں ہو سکتا فر دی فرس ٹائم سیونٹینٹ امینڈمنٹ میں یہ لائے گئے تھے دی کانسل آن ایس آن دی کانسل میں آن ایس آن موشن یہ پہلی دفعہ دوہزار پانچ میں انٹروڈیوز کیا کانسٹویشن میں کہ ایون سپریم ڈیجنل کانسل ہی بھی ہیو دی پار آن ایس آن آن دی بیسز آف آف ای کمپلینٹ اویلیبل کن پروسیڈ اگینس ای جاج آف تھی دس ایس دا کیس ہیر ایٹس ایس ناٹ ای کیس آف پریزیڈنشل ریفرنس ایٹس ایس ای کیس ویس سپریم ڈیجنل کانسل کیسے شروع آئی ہے ادرامی دکھائیے لیٹر سپریم جیڈیشل کانسل نے کیا اپنے طور پر یہ اٹھایا ہے یا ریجسٹرار نے ایک نوٹ لکھ ریجسٹرار نے کس کپیسٹی میں لکھا ہے یہ اپنے طور پر نا کمپلینٹ ہے یہ وہ دکھائے ہیں ریجسٹرار نے کس کپیسٹی میں دی یہ بھی دیکھنا ہے دکھائے ہیں کیا چیز ہے اس کو کمپلینٹ میں سپریم جیڈیشل کانسل نے کیا اپنے طور پر یہ اٹھایا ہے یا سپریم جیڈیشل کانسل نے کیا اپنے طور پر یہ اٹھایا ہے یا سپریم جیڈیشل کانسل جواب دیا ہے جی سر یہ اکیس سات دوہزار اٹھارہ آنریبل مسٹر جس صدیقی ایڈریس پیج کا ہے یہ پیج تھرٹی نائن پہ سر 